What if I told you LEGO Fortnite is gonna get even better? Now, obviously that kind of opinion can vary from person to person, but when I look at the full body of work Epic and LEGO have ever provided in product, I can say that going forward, you should probably trust the vision that they have for the future of LEGO Fortnite. The game has started off with an excellent base, though the casual player might say it felt a little bare at the beginning. Personally, I do agree with that, but it's my belief that a good game has a good foundation first before you go building up to the top floor. A game like Minecraft has long been known for not releasing much content or much content very often, but if they did, it wouldn't really feel like Minecraft anymore. Adding things to an existing ecosphere takes time and consideration, and I believe that's the approach of Epic here to keep the game feeling like the first time you ever played, while also releasing fresh content and at a minimum trying to stay par with the course with performance issues. Obviously, I'm not an employee of Epic or, you know, experienced in any of that, so I'm just yapping, but those are some of my thoughts. I also have some thoughts on how they can improve the game. Some are major, but most are little things, and to be honest, I only took about five minutes to compile this list, so, if you have anything that you'd like to see in the future of LEGO Fortnite, let me know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. Now, on to what I'd like to see in the game. Starting off, mobs, okay? We need some sort of big boss, but starting off, how about a new brute? They're gonna probably release a new biome, and with that, obviously, a new brute, but we also should get, like, a large boss. Something that's not a brute. Something that we can set a end game goal towards. The brute is okay, but when you think about having a big bad or an all end goal for some of the more functional players who aren't on the game to create stuff, having a boss that's large and isn't replicated throughout the map in, in different variations, I think is kind of important. I also think it matters because like, what are we gonna do with these vehicles we're making? Do you see this? I have I have an ATV on the back of a cargo plane. I'm not using this to go fly to a cave 200 meters over, okay? I need something to do. And a boss provides somewhere to go. A new biome, which they're definitely gonna be releasing, is obviously going to give us a reason to move, but how about something that's rare to find? maybe rare POIs, something that's not spawning every thousand meters would be really cool. Staying on the subject of mobs, I think a new variation of the wolf would be really cool. I think we'll probably get one when the Dark Forest releases. And maybe, how about something that swims in the water? Now that we have the ability to make boats in LEGO Fortnite, it would be really cool if they implemented some sort of sky mob or water creature that gives you some sort of potential danger in the sky now that planes are so stable. Now, I get that not everyone would like something like that. Some of us like the danger. Now, to power all these vehicles, we're gonna need the compost bin, which is now going to be the most important workstation in the game. To make the biomass, I am recommending using a combination of bones from skeletons, right? You're gonna wanna maybe farm at a cave or farm in the Frostlands biome because you get four from each skeleton. And you're gonna wanna combine that with the use of putting wheat into your grain mills and getting three wheat seeds per plant. That's gonna give you three biomass per seed and that's gonna be the fastest way to fill up your compost bins. Now, compost bins are also going to make farming a viable option in the game. And with that, I wish they would also add the ability to herd animals because we still need a competent way to get milk for our slushies, although, I don't really use them now that I'm fully charmed up. In these clips, you're gonna see that I was able to run over the small white trees with my vehicle. So that's gonna open the 
door to farm these trees with your vehicle. Although I think it might just be better to chop them with your ax. But nonetheless, if they added some sort of attachment to the vehicle so that you could run over the plants and harvest them, it would open the door to creating tractors. Now I tried and it didn't work when I tried. It just damaged my vehicle. So we'll see what they do in the future. Maybe they won't touch it at all, but adding a farming aspect would be amazing in this game, not just from a functional perspective, but also from an aesthetic perspective, it just opens the door for so many new builds for creatives like me. Another thing I really need them to change about this farming thing is the size of the pumpkins. They're just, they're too small, okay? So if we could get them a little bit bigger, not the ones that grow in the wild, but the ones that you plant in the plot, even being two thirds of the size of the original ones, and, or maybe adding another smaller one would be really great. Obviously, that's just me being tedious and staying on the tedious road. I have some other things that I would like, small things. Marked pings on the map so you can mark things from far away and still see where they are. Durability of the car parts, it's just a little bit too low. And I'd also like it if you could auto equip stuff from your inventory, that just seems like it should be automatic. And another one, being able to auto plant seeds from your inventory as well. Now, all of these changes, most of them, I would expect them to come to the game, some of the littler ones. I genuinely believe that they are pushing in this direction. Like I said, they have to find a way to get things into the game without ruining the game that they already have. So be patient and take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one.